Welcome to Cyber World YT. Like and subscribe if you are new here. Also, follow me on Instagram for in case of any queries. Let's get started. Important disclaimer for educational purposes only. The information presented in this essay is for educational purposes only. It is intended to raise awareness about common hacking techniques. This information should not be used to engage in any illegal activities. Unauthorized access to computer systems and networks is a crime. By reading further, you agree that you will use this information responsibly and ethically. Always respect the privacy and security of others. In today's interconnected world, network security is more important than ever. Our personal information, financial data, and sensitive communications travel across networks every day. Hackers are constantly seeking ways to exploit vulnerabilities in these networks. They aim to steal data, disrupt services, or gain unauthorized access for malicious purposes. Understanding how hackers operate is crucial for protecting ourselves and our digital lives. Knowledge is the first line of defense against cyber threats. By learning about common hacking methods, we can better understand the risks and take appropriate precautions. Hacking, in simple terms, is gaining unauthorized access to a computer system or network. Hackers exploit vulnerabilities to bypass security measures and achieve their goals. These vulnerabilities could be technical flaws in software or hardware, weak passwords, or even human error. Hackers are adept at finding and exploiting these weaknesses. Hacking can take many forms, from stealing sensitive data to disrupting critical infrastructure. The methods used by hackers are constantly evolving, making it a constant cat and mouse game. It's important to remember that hacking is not limited to technical experts. Anyone can become a victim if they are not careful. Phishing is a common social engineering technique used by hackers to trick individuals into revealing sensitive information. This information could include usernames, passwords, credit card details, or other personal data. Phishing attacks often come in the form of emails, text messages, or even phone calls. These messages are designed to look legitimate, often impersonating trusted organizations or individuals. They may contain links that redirect to fake websites designed to steal your information, or they may ask you to reply with personal details, tricking you into handing them over to the attacker. Always be cautious of unsolicited messages requesting personal information. Verify the sender's identity and avoid clicking on suspicious links. Section 5. Man-in-the-middle attacks, eavesdropping on your data. Man-in-the-middle attacks occur when a hacker intercepts communication between two parties. The attacker can then eavesdrop on the conversation, steal data, or even manipulate the information being exchanged. Imagine you're making an online purchase. An attacker could position themselves between your computer and the merchant's server. You might think you're sending your credit card details securely, but the attacker is intercepting them. Man-in-the-middle attacks often target public Wi-Fi networks, which can be less secure than private networks. Attackers can exploit vulnerabilities in these networks to intercept your data. To protect yourself, avoid accessing sensitive information on public Wi-Fi. Use a virtual private network, or VPN, to encrypt your internet traffic and make it more difficult for attackers to intercept. Section 6. SQL Injection Exploiting Website Vulnerabilities SQL injection is a type of attack that targets websites and databases. It exploits vulnerabilities in a website's code to gain unauthorized access to the underlying database. Hackers can use SQL injection to steal data, modify data, or even take control of the entire database. This can have severe consequences for the website owner and its users. Consider a website with a search bar. A hacker might enter malicious code into the search bar instead of a regular search term. If the website is vulnerable, this code could be executed on the database. Website developers play a crucial role in preventing SQL injection attacks. They need to implement secure coding practices to sanitize user input and prevent malicious code from being executed. Section 7. Protecting Yourself Essential Cyber Hygiene Practices Protecting yourself from hacking attempts requires constant vigilance and good cyber hygiene practices. Here are some essential tips to keep in mind. 
Use strong passwords. Create unique complex passwords for all your online accounts. Enable two-factor authentication whenever possible for an extra layer of security. Be cautious of phishing attempts. Don't click on links or open attachments from unknown senders. Verify the sender's identity before providing any personal information. Keep your software up to date. Software updates often include security patches that address known vulnerabilities. Regularly update your operating system, web browsers, and other software. Use a reputable antivirus program. Antivirus software can help detect and block malicious software from infecting your computer. Keep your antivirus program up to date and run regular scans. Be mindful of what you share online. Hackers can use information you share online to target you with phishing attacks or other scams. Be cautious about what personal details you share publicly. Section 8. Recap. Common Hacking Methods and Their Impact. We've explored three common hacking methods, phishing, man-in-the-middle attacks, and SQL injection. Each of these methods poses a significant threat to network security. Phishing attacks exploit human vulnerability, tricking individuals into revealing sensitive information. Man-in-the-middle attacks intercept communication, allowing attackers to eavesdrop and steal data. SQL injection targets website vulnerabilities, giving hackers unauthorized access to databases. These methods highlight the diverse ways hackers can compromise networks and steal data. Understanding these methods is crucial for individuals and organizations to implement appropriate security measures. By staying informed and proactive, we can mitigate the risks posed by these attacks. Section 9. Stay informed, stay safe. Subscribe for more. The world of cybersecurity is constantly evolving. New threats emerge every day requiring us to stay informed and adapt our security practices. By subscribing to our channel, you'll receive regular updates on the latest hacking techniques, cyber threats, and essential security tips. We'll provide you with the knowledge and tools to stay ahead of the curve. Join our community of security-conscious individuals and organizations. Together, we can create a safer online environment for everyone. Subscribe today and take control of your digital security. In this chapter, we will delve deeper into the advanced techniques hackers use to infiltrate networks. We will explore sophisticated methods such as zero-day exploits, advanced persistent threats, APTs, and social engineering tactics. Stay tuned to learn how these techniques work and how you can protect yourself from them. Now, let's discuss the importance of penetration testing in network security. Penetration testing, or ethical hacking, involves simulating cyber attacks on your own systems to identify vulnerabilities before malicious hackers can exploit them. We will cover the different types of penetration tests and how they can help strengthen your network defenses. First, let's look at black box testing. In this type of test, the ethical hacker has no prior knowledge of the system, mimicking an actual external attack. This helps identify vulnerabilities that an outsider might exploit. Next, we have white box testing. Here, the tester has full knowledge of the system, including its source code and architecture. This method is thorough and helps find vulnerabilities deep within the system. Another type is gray box testing, which combines elements of both black box and white box testing. The tester has partial knowledge of the system, striking a balance between the two methods and providing a realistic attack scenario. Penetration testing can be conducted manually or with automated tools, each having its own advantages. Manual testing allows for creativity and deeper analysis, while automated tools can quickly scan for known vulnerabilities. By regularly performing penetration tests, organizations can proactively strengthen their security posture, ensuring that their defenses are robust against both common and advanced threats. Stay vigilant and prioritize penetration testing as a critical component of your network security strategy. In this chapter, we will explore the role of artificial intelligence and machine learning in cybersecurity. AI and ML are increasingly being used to detect and respond to cyber threats in real time. We will discuss how these technologies work and their potential benefits and limitations in the field of network security. Artificial intelligence can quickly analyze vast amounts of data, identifying patterns and anomalies that may indicate a security threat. 
Machine learning algorithms can be trained to recognize these patterns, allowing for faster and more accurate threat detection than traditional methods. This is particularly useful for identifying zero-day vulnerabilities and sophisticated attacks that might otherwise go unnoticed. However, AI and ML are not without their limitations. One of the main challenges is the quality of the data used to train these algorithms. Poor quality data can lead to false positives or missed threats. Additionally, cybercriminals are constantly evolving their tactics, and AI systems must be regularly updated to keep pace with new types of attacks. Despite these challenges, the potential benefits of AI and ML in cybersecurity are significant. They can help organizations respond to threats more quickly, reduce the burden on human analysts, and improve overall network security. As these technologies continue to advance, they will play an increasingly important role in protecting our digital world. Stay tuned for more insights into the ever-evolving landscape of network security. Let's take a closer look at the legal and ethical considerations of hacking. While hacking is often associated with criminal activity, there are legal and ethical ways to use hacking skills for good. We will discuss the differences between black hat, white hat, and gray hat hackers and the importance of ethical hacking in today's digital world. Black hat hackers are individuals who exploit vulnerabilities for malicious purposes, such as stealing data or disrupting services. They operate outside the law and their actions can cause significant harm to individuals and organizations. In contrast, white hat hackers use their skills to help improve security. They work within legal boundaries, often employed by organizations to identify and fix security weaknesses before they can be exploited by malicious actors. White hat hackers are crucial in the fight against cybercrime as they provide valuable insights and solutions to strengthen defenses. Gray hat hackers fall somewhere in between. They may exploit vulnerabilities without permission, but their intent is often to highlight security flaws so they can be addressed. While their methods may be questionable, their goal is usually to improve security rather than cause harm. Ethical hacking, also known as penetration testing, is a practice where security professionals simulate attacks to identify and fix vulnerabilities. This proactive approach is essential in safeguarding digital assets and ensuring robust network security. Understanding these distinctions is vital for appreciating the role of hacking in cybersecurity. Ethical hacking not only helps protect against cyber threats, but also contributes to the development of more secure systems and networks. As we continue to navigate the complexities of the digital world, the importance of ethical considerations in hacking cannot be overstated. Stay tuned for more insights into the ever-evolving landscape of network security. Finally, we will provide some practical tips and best practices for improving your network security. From using strong passwords and multi-factor authentication, to keeping your software up to date and educating your employees about cybersecurity, these tips will help you protect your network from potential threats. First, always use strong, unique passwords for each of your accounts. A strong password typically includes a mix of uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Consider using a password manager to keep track of them. Next. Enable multi-factor authentication, MFA, wherever possible. MFA adds an additional layer of security by requiring not just a password, but also a second form of verification, such as a code sent to your phone. Regularly update your software and systems. Software updates often include patches for security vulnerabilities that could be exploited by hackers. Ensure that all your devices and applications are running the latest versions, Educate your employees about cybersecurity. Human error is one of the biggest risks to network security. Conduct regular training sessions to inform your staff about common threats like phishing attacks and teach them how to recognize and avoid them. Implement network monitoring tools to detect and respond to suspicious activity. These tools can alert you to potential threats in real time, allowing you to take action before any damage is done. Lastly, Back up your data regularly. In the event of a cyber attack, having recent backups can help you quickly restore your systems and minimize downtime. By following these practical tips, you can significantly enhance your network security and protect your digital assets from potential threats. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and stay secure.